Okay, so I found something very interesting this morning. I went to use my DJI FPV controller and found that the throttle stick was returning to center. It wasn't loose like it was before. And I couldn't work out why this was. So I went and looked at a few YouTube films on how to open up the controller and have a look. And here's what I discovered. All right, so here's the inside of the controller in all its glory. Um, the mode, the left throttle stick is actually on the right here because it's upside down, but I can't show you what was wrong uh, because a bit of plastic snapped off. So I'm gonna have to show you on the other one because you can reconfigure these to be mode one. In this case, you need to actually do the same, this thing that was supposed to be done on the left throttle stick on the right throttle stick. But here you will see there's a little bit of plastic that juts out. You can actually put a screw inside that. And what that will do is it will push down this spring loaded um, piece of plastic, which is the return to center mechanism. And once it's pushed down, it fails to do its job of returning to center. So as I said, it snapped off on the right side um, around here. And I could try and super glue that back on and then try and see if it holds. There's this little screw here which has to go through it. And, uh, but I just don't think that's gonna work. So what I decided to do instead was remove this spring um, here from on top of this leveling mechanism over here. I did, this is a mirror image of the one over here. And what that's done is just meant that the stick is, is that the, the, the leveling mechanism is just completely out of the way. And now I've got a loose throttle again, which is what I'm happy with. I'm never gonna wanna turn this into a mode one controller. So I'm happy with that at the moment. Um, but I do want to draw attention to the fact that this piece here goes inside here and would stay in place. That little uh, that little piece of plastic jutting out at the top, that's for holding the spring and then holding the thing down. Here's the piece of plastic that um, snapped off here. I'm just going to keep that as well because I might want to make some changes later. So I hope that'll let you know how to uh, fix it in the future, future Sean, if you ever hope to do so or want to do so. Just a little addendum. Uh, I put together the controller and when I moved the stick, it, it worked fine, but I could hear a little bit of a rattle, which was of that spring, which was loose. And I didn't really care. I was just going to leave it in there. But after a while, um, because it wasn't held down in the right way, the spring came loose, plus this piece of plastic here, which is actually the centering mechanism uh, for the stick. Those came loose and started rattling around inside the case, so I opened it up again and took it out. And now I have um, a controller, which has zero sound as I move it up and down, just like it was before but still has the tension on this and still has, still has tension over here as well. So I'm pretty happy with that result. Just one more thing to say, because I find this stuff interesting. This morning when I did this on the left stick and found it was doing this, I was like, how is that possible? How has my controller gained functionality? And it actually turned out that the reason was that that functionality was always here on the left, but it was being held back. And what failed was the thing that held it back. I find that pretty interesting.